Hi, the manga tubing community on YouTube is full of absolutely awesome creators. And I thought, let's highlight some of these. We're doing a collaboration project. I've asked a couple of people in the community a simple question. If you were stranded on a desert island, what manga would you wish you had with you? And the rules here are simple. You're allowed one manga. It can be any length, language, or anything you want. But this is the only manga that you will have with you for potentially the rest of your life is you're stuck on the desert island indefinitely. So yeah, that's the task. I want to give a massive thanks to everyone that decided to be involved in this video. If you want to check them out, their links will be down in the description. They're some of my favorite creators on the platform, so make sure you check them out. And while you're down in the description, prepare yourself for your own desert island journey by grabbing some manga from one of the affiliate links. It's how I've bought awesome new stuff for the channel, like this microphone. Without further ado, let's pass on over to the first manga tuber. Yo, t Bry here. I've been asked to choose one manga to be stranded on a desert island with. A desert island that I would apparently never escape from, but one that would have enough resources for me to live out my entire life on. Basically, I've been asked to choose a manga that I have to read forever. Now, if you want my real answer, I'm probably going to go with a manga called Kochikame Tokyo Beat Cops because according to Google, that is the manga with the most volume sitting at about 201, which would maximize the number of pages that I could use as Firestarter. But I'm pretty sure that's not the point of this video. Anyways, anyone who knows me and my channel can probably guess what I'm actually going to choose. That being, of course, my favorite series of all time, Naruto. I was introduced to Naruto when I was 10 years old, and it's been my favorite series ever since. I've read and watched it multiple times at this point, and I've never gotten sick of it. In fact, Naruto has actually gotten me through a lot of very tough times in my life. Because despite it being a battle shonen about ninja, there are a lot of very valuable life lessons to be found within the story. Things like overcoming hatred, allowing others to fill the void in your heart left by someone else, perseverance through the hardest of times. Naruto touches on so many important themes displayed by its amazing cast of characters and I'm sure that stranded on a desert island there would be something within the story that would connect with my situation and just keep me going in some way. I also think it would be important in my isolation to have something that connected me to the happiest times in my life and Naruto certainly represents a huge part of my happiness in life so Naruto. That's, that's my answer. If I had to bring one manga to a desert island to read forever, it would be Naruto. What's up guys, my name is East Coast Manga and I was asked by the Nerd Lounge what manga I would choose if I was stuck on a deserted island. And it's kind of a tough question. I think, you know, realistically, there's a, a lot of really good options. You know, I think commonly, you know, someone would choose like one of the longer series, uh, something like One Piece or maybe JoJo's. To be totally honest with you guys, I would probably choose Berserk, but just in case someone else does choose Berserk because I think it would be a very common option to choose. I'll give something a little out of the box which I know nobody else is gonna say. And the series I would pick is Ikigami the Ultimate Limit. This is a really cool manga. It is 10 volumes so it's not actually that many volumes but each volume is split up into chapters which those chapters have their own like individual stories. This is a very dark seinen about a man whose job it is to give you a card 24 hours before you're supposed to die. And each chapter essentially is about different stories of different people who are getting these cards and just totally different things that they do with their time. And I don't know, I just find that really, really interesting. I think each of those stories could be dissected even more. And it also has a lot to do with life and the idea of humanity and knowing you don't have that much time left. So I think that would be an interesting perspective being on a deserted island, of course, where you might not know how much time you have left. But yeah, that's my choice. I would say the, the clear one is Berserk, but the out of the box one is Ikigami the Ultimate Limit. Hello everyone, I'm Reversi and it is so nice to meet you all. When Leon posed this question, I thought it was such a fun concept. Who doesn't love daydreaming about hypothetical scenarios? But when I actually started thinking about an answer, I was at a loss. What manga would I bring? How do I pick just one? And why couldn't I just bring my phone with me and use all of my apps? Or call for help? The struggles of an overthinker. I first thought about it realistically. 
What if I was walking on the street one day and was then spirited away to a deserted island? What manga would I likely have on hand? Of course, one that is already in my bag. Surprising to no one, I've been carrying around Natsume's Book of Friends because I've been trying to catch up. It also kind of fits the theme because I imagine I'd be quite sad and confused if I was stuck on an island. So why not pick a manga that's guaranteed to cheer me up? But because all of this is fake anyway, I started thinking about other manga I could bring. What would be the most useful and most entertaining as I spend days alone with my thoughts? My final pick was the lovely Full Metal Alchemist Full Metal Edition. And my reasons are, one, even though the Brotherhood anime is in my top three, I've never read the manga. So this would be a new experience for me and nearly 20 volumes of entertainment. Two, Ed and Al do get stranded on an island at some point, so I can just learn about how they survived and do the same. And three, because these are high quality books, they probably won't get sun damaged as quickly and I can use them as a weapon if necessary. It is the perfect choice, don't you think? It makes me so curious about what everyone else has chosen and why they did so. And finally, of course, thank you to Leon for inviting me to participate. This was such a good idea and I'm so honored I could contribute. I hope everyone watching this also has fun coming up with an answer too. Hey guys, first off, I just want to say thank you to the Nerd Lounge for throwing me on this video. Uh, this is going to be what I would choose if I was on a stranded island and what I would read. Let's get right into it. If I had to pick one manga, I mean, if you guys can't tell, if you guys are from my channel, I have a completely different setup. I've been looking at all the manga on my shelf, you know, so my top two favorite manga are Berserk and Gantz. You know, Gantz is my number one, Berserk's number two. But, you know, would I choose them if I was on a stranded island? No, because they're very depressing, very sad. And uh, yeah, sometimes they have some good lighthearted moments, but overall it's very just dark and stuff like that. So, you know, I was going, thinking around, you know, what should I pick? Should I pick Dragon Ball? Should I pick Dragon Ball Z? You know, what's more lighthearted? What's long? You know, what's still ongoing? And if you guys know where I'm going with this, I'm gonna have to choose One Piece. I don't know what everyone else is gonna be picking on this video, but One Piece is definitely gonna be mine. I'm sure a lot of other people are gonna be picking it because it's just long, it's super lighthearted, has some great action, some great lovable characters, and it's just a lot packed in each volume. Ichiro Oda definitely just packs a lot of art into each like panel. I remember reading the first arc, um, he packed the little panda in each little panel. But yeah, guys, I would definitely choose One Piece. And like I said, thanks again, Nerd Lounge, for featuring me on this video. And uh, later, guys. Hello, my name is Crash, and Leon just asked me to pick a manga to take on a desert island, which is always an interesting and very, very hard question to answer. So, I mean, the obvious answer for me is One Piece. I mean, it has over 100 volumes, it's one of my all-time favorite manga. I'm currently reading it and I'm, I've been enjoying it a lot. But that is the obvious answer and I don't want to go with that. I feel like everyone and their mom's gonna answer One Piece. So, my choice for my manga that I'll take to a desert island is Doro Hedoro. Now, this is actually my all-time favorite manga. It's a little bit shorter than One Piece, uh, with 23 volumes completed, but what I like about this manga is that this is literally has everything that I love about a manga, uh, about a story, really. It has both very gruesome, very gory scenes, this thrilling uh, and exciting mystery story, while at the same time having a lot of like really fun characters that really wacky and insane moments, really nice comedy, and really fun slice of life moments as well. Everything in one manga. This is a manga that has some of the most disturbing imagery I've ever seen, while at the same time having a chapter or two where it's just like a slice of life baseball game with all the characters involved. And in some weird way, it all fits. So that's kind of why I at least one of the reasons why I take this manga for Desert Island is because it has everything. So the, depending on my mood and what I want from a manga, I can check specific arcs, specific chapters that would fit my mood. And the other bigger reason for it is because, contrary to most other manga that I read, once I finished Doro Doro, a couple weeks later or a couple days later, I really felt the need to just reread everything. I, I haven't actually gone back to reread it. I've been uh, satisfying my needs 
of QI Yashida with the new Dai Dark, which is essentially an ongoing uh, the Order of Manga. It's from the same mangaka, and she just did the exact same thing again, which is lovely. This is like slice of um, space sci-fi sci Dorito, -do -do, and it's lovely. So if you read Dorito -do -do and you wanted something very similar, check this one out. This is just an amazing series. It it's gonna keep me entertained forever, and I'm currently just waiting to be able to complete the collection to just dive in again honestly yeah that's it if you haven't read the Rodero, please check it out and um guess i'm back to you leon <laughs> bye oh. thank you everyone and i'm gonna thank you for nobody choosing the series that i'm going to choose <laughs> But I am a little bit annoyed that some of you stole my jokes. JK, JK, it's all love. So what series would I choose if I was stuck on a desert island? Now, the more I thought about it, the more I realized it's not the easiest choice because this series is gonna be something you're reading for the rest of your life or potentially the rest of your life. So I decided that it had to be a series that meant a lot to me, that I could reread over and over again. And it had to be a series that would maybe provide me some hope while I'm stuck on this desert island. And for that reason, I chose Berserk. Because of course I did. I'm absolutely addicted to it currently. Now, the reason that I chose Berserk is because it's a series that is filled with the hardships of life. And yeah, our main character Guts follows through on his journey, filled with hope, never giving up. And I think this message would be so important if I was stranded on an island alone with no real idea on what I'm going to do. It's a 40 volume series so far, so it's pretty long and might keep me entertained for a little while. And it is something that I think upon rereading over and over again, you would learn so much more about the series. This isn't something you can gather everything from on the first read through. And it's not just a perfect narrative in my eyes, it's also a feast for the eyeballs because the artwork is absolutely amazing. So while I'm stuck, bored out of my mind on this desert island, I could potentially just stare at the artwork and be absorbed into Berserk's world. Especially in an arc like the Fantasia arc, where everything is all mythical and intriguing and fresh. It would give me a fresh outlook on the miserable life that I'm living in currently. And of course I know Berserk has its downtime, it has its depression, its tragedy, but everyone loves a little bit of drama while they're stuck on a desert island. So yeah, if I was stuck on a desert island, the manga that I would want to take with me is Berserk. However, and I'm slightly breaking the rules here, but this is my video. I can do what I want. I would potentially choose another series, and that would be One Piece. And there's one reason for this. One Piece is a hundred volume series. There are so many volumes. And do you know what One Piece would be amazing for on a desert island? It would be great for starting a fire. There you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching the Manga Tuber Desert Island collab. Thank you to everyone that's been involved in the video. It really means the world to me that you came out and produced fantastic content that we can use together to make a video like this. Further imprinting that the Manga Tuber community is the best community in my eyes. Thank you so much. Make sure you leave in the comments down below what manga you would take on a desert island. I'd be really interested to see your thoughts. Make sure you also use the affiliate links in the description to grab yourself some manga or even some other things on Right Stuff, Forbidden Planet, and Book Depository. All of the profits made from the affiliate links have gone onto equipment for the channel. My current thing that I've purchased being this brand new microphone recorder and this Rode interview mic. I'm hoping it's going to improve the quality of the content and it's also going to allow me to do street interviews at conventions. And purchasing that would not have been possible without you guys supporting the links down in the description. So thank you so much. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every single time that I upload. It's been absolutely wonderful having you. Thanks again to everyone involved in this video. Much love, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.